Say good morning. Say good morning. Oh, um, yeah. My goodness. Yeah. Well, he is talkative this morning. Yes, I got a haircut. If you have me on Instagram, you probably already saw it. But um, I was going to vlog getting my haircut. Honestly, I completely forgot. When you have a baby, you just don't think about things anymore. Hence why I haven't made a video in a long time. We are having some tummy time. He just ate about 40-ish minutes ago, so he's probably going to be ready for a nap in just a little bit, which is the whole purpose of this video. I'm going to get Cole, or I'm going to try to get Cole to sleep in his crib for the first time. I don't think it'll be any different because he has a little sleeper, if you see it, in there. It's like a crib type thing in there that he sleeps in during the day and he sleeps in a bassinet at night so i don't think he'll have any problems with it but i did set up our baby monitor and all that kind of stuff that way he can start taking at least two naps in his crib during the day because the plan is i love him being in our room and it's gonna be really hard for him me to move him out of my room but when he starts sleeping through the night i do want to move him or start moving him to his crib at night because honestly, I know myself, the longer he stays in our room, the harder it's going to be for me to move him out of our room. So whenever he starts sleeping through the night, whether that be like eight weeks or 12 weeks or whatever, I want to move him to his crib. So I want to start getting him used to sleeping in his crib, crib during the day and trying to get him to have like two naps in his crib. He just had his nine o'clock bottle and my plan is to, for him to nap in his crib after his nine o'clock feeding. So like around 10, he usually goes back to sleep for a nap. And then after his three o'clock feeding, which might not happen today because I have somebody coming to visit, somebody from school coming to visit after. So he might not get that one. But if we could do one nap today in the crib, I feel like that would be good. So set up the baby monitor so that can be upstairs. That way I can come down here and have a peace of mind because I haven't set up the baby mon monitor because we haven't even had him in there. And it's not like mounted on anything, but I don't really want to carry it around everywhere. So I've been limited on what floor I stay on based on what floor he's on. Because like obviously if he's upstairs sleeping in the bassinet, which he rarely is during the day. Because after his 6 o'clock feeding, he's ready to get up for the day. So he never takes any naps up there. Plus I don't really have anywhere to set up the camera in the bassinet like I do the crib. When he's upstairs, I'm really limited to being upstairs because I can't really hear him cry downstairs and vice versa. Um, yeah, I'll probably get on a lot in this video because mom life. Yeah, so that's the plan for the day. I did take him up there for a little bit and like let him lay in it while I was setting up the camera making sure it worked because I didn't want to be fooling with that when I'm trying to actually put him down to sleep. And he was fine. He was just awake though. So I didn't want him to think that crib time is playtime. So I took him back downstairs and we're doing tummy time now which he loves. He's already rolling over. So that's fun. He started, he's also scooting. He started with his head on this elephant thing and he's like scooted that way. I'm going to do a whole nother video about this. I think talking about the schedule I have him on, but I do use this book and I'll show you guys. Ow, I just my show on the bouncer. I'm using this book. It's called mom's on call. It's the zero to six month book. And I'm using that as like a guideline and I'm trying to start to stick to it because um, I don't want to show you the schedule because I don't know if that's like a, I don't know. I feel weird showing you that schedule because obviously they made the book and like want people to buy it to get a schedule. But anyways, I'll do a whole nother video about my schedule because it's a little different, but it literally has schedules with... He's starting to get sleepy. Let me get rock him and try and put him down and then I'll talk about the schedule hopefully when he's sleeping in his crib. Okay, so he's still kind of half asleep, but he's not crying and from, I don't know, I've heard a few things, but I've heard that you're not supposed to put them in the bed like full asleep. You're supposed to kind of put them in their half sleep. That way they get used to like putting themselves to sleep in there so we're just gonna we're just gonna let him be for a little bit and see if he goes back to sleep normally he does yeah he's yawning right now so hopefully we're good back to this book so i'll link this down below but this gives you a lot of good like general tips about like sleeping eating 
whether you're breastfeeding or using formula and it has in the back like suggested schedules for like when babies eat when they nap how long they nap all that stuff for each week so like it says the first two weeks you just feed on command then it has a schedule for four to eight weeks or no two to four weeks and four to eight weeks then eight to sixteen or something like that but it gives you like a general schedule some people aren't schedule people some people they like to just go with the flow whenever their baby cries they figure out if they're hungry or not personally my mental health has been way better since we've started a schedule cole really likes it he's not nearly as fussy as he used to be fingers crossed that he stays sleep up there it looks like he's gone back to sleep so that's a good sign but i'll link that down book down below it's really good to read through and get all the tips and stuff i read through it in like a couple hours it's really short it's like bulleted listed some stuff it talks about like sicknesses and stuff like that and medication they can take but the best part is the schedule part we've been on a schedule for a week and a half now and it's been super nice because like i said it sets out nap times eating times all that stuff he's still scrolling a little bit but he's not crying so i'm gonna let you guys go and i'll let you know how him sleeping in the crib goes is he not the sweetest little thing you've ever seen okay so update on him sleeping in the crib he slept into in his crib until like 11:45, which was about 15 minutes before he eats again he eats his lunchtime bottle i guess you can call it at 12. so oh he's been up a little bit he slept in there a good while he did wake up about every 15 or so minutes and i only had to go in there one time um the first two times he woke up i just the first time he just i just let him cry for like two minutes because i could tell it was like a I'm tired cry but I'm not going to sleep cry and then he whined for maybe two minutes and then he went back to sleep and then the second time he cried for a little bit longer and so I came I can talk to him through the little baby monitor and I said I told him that it was fine and like it's okay and I think once he heard me he went right back to sleep so I guess just being in a new room he just needed to hear that I was still there and then third time i had to go in there and give him his pacifier which he rarely takes it the only time he really takes it is if he's overtired and he won't go to sleep and that's kind of how he was so i just went in there and gave him his pacifier and he went right back to sleep when he got it and then he woke up a fourth time and just whimpered for a little while not even a minute and then went back to sleep and then he woke up and was like hungry at like 11:45, which i just went up there and got him and started warming the bottle and then he was fine and then he actually went to sleep while he's eating his bottle and i had to kind of keep waking him up to eat so i'm letting him sleep now but i am gonna wake him up in a little while so he'll be good and awake for his next bottle um i'm hoping once i get him on a good nap schedule now that i've gotten him on a really good eating schedule like he wakes up on clockwork like clockwork when he's supposed to eat i'm hoping when i get him on a nap schedule like that he won't fall asleep when he's eating some of his bottles and he'll actually finish them without us having to wake him up every 30 seconds <laughs> um i did touch up my hair it's my first time doing my hair on my own yesterday my cousin jessica who cut my hair she did it um and i tried to do it the way she did it and it didn't work but i did my own way and it's it still turned out pretty cute so we're going to dinner with my sister and her husband tonight that's the only reason that my hair is getting done <laughs> and that's the only reason my makeup is done i did not do it just for this video trust me you guys have seen me without makeup plenty of times his next nap which will be after he eats at three which is in an hour he'll eat at three and then usually he falls back asleep about four because he takes like 30 minutes to eat because he takes forever to eat so normally he falls asleep about 3 45 4 o'clock and so i'm hoping he can take that nap upstairs as well so fingers crossed that that works but i think that was a good successful run i mean he slept a good amount up there I don't know if he ever got in deep sleep because he kept waking up like every 15 minutes but he did sleep up there so i'm gonna keep up with that i'm gonna keep trying after his 
for his nap at like 10 a.m. I want him to be in there and then his nap when he goes to sleep at like 4 I'd like for him to be in there and then eventually hopefully he can take well when he gets older because if he took every nap up there now he would be upstairs most of the time and I just want to spend time with him so we'll keep it at two for now and then when he get has less and less naps eventually all of his naps will be upstairs but that is it for this video hopefully i can get back into now that he has a good schedule that's really going to help me do videos because before he had a schedule i really didn't know when he was going to sleep i didn't know when he was going to eat when he cried i was just a guessing game of what he needed so now that he's on a schedule i'll be able to film because i'll know when he's napping to be able to film. I have some fun videos coming up. I want to do a 24 hours with the newborn because technically, I don't know, I don't even know if he's technically a newborn anymore, but I have to look it up. But I'm going to do like a 24 hours with a one month old because he is a month old now. And I want to do a one month update video. Even though he's like five weeks old, we can still do a one month video update. And those are the two that I have planned to go out sometime soon. So, make sure if you haven't already, you subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!